Welcome to this uh, speed coding challenge. So I'm going to give myself 15 minutes to to code stairs in in Unity. And I'm going to use C sharp, although it would work a very similar technique would work for JavaScript if you're used to that. And if anyone wants me to do it in JavaScript, um, let me know, and I'll do it in in JavaScript as well. So I've got Unity ready. What are we making? We're making like automatic stairs. Basically, we want to put down one block and then I'm going to write a script, hopefully, that will then generate or grow stairs. And we could have a thousand stairs. Maybe we could have stairs curving round. You can make a double helix of stairs, something like that. So it's a, it's a very useful thing to kind of make in Unity. Right, so we'll call it um, gr like grow, oh no, <laughs> grow me stairs. Grow me steps. Grow me steps. A 3D project. Okay, everything's kind of ready there. So here we go. Speed coding challenge. Will it work? And <laughs> the clock. The clock is now starting. Right. Okay, create project. So we'll go from scratch so you know uh, how to do everything. So basically, we want some kind of ground. It'll be nice to have a, a first person controller. So I need some standard assets, and then then we can make our like first step. So first thing I'm going to have to do is kind of shrink this. Okay, so I'm now going to the top. I'm just going to game object. Sorry, I've cut off the top um, the top options there, but I'm just going to 3D object. So game object, 3D object, cube, and let's bring up the inspector again. And so this is going to be our floor. Just rename that. We'll make it 100 by 100 on the X and Z. I believe uh, Y is 1. Um, and that's our floor kind of done. Let's make a material. Oh, struggling to right click it. There we go. Create um, material. And we call that uh, floor skin. <laughs> and some kind of green, so it just looks like the ground. Let's drag that in. Uh, there we go. And I love metallic stuff. Okay. Okay, that should do. So we've got our ground, we've got our ground. So uh, now we just need to get a, actually, let's just go straight forward, straight into the, the main thing. So we want to have, essentially, any kind of object, um, 3D object, and we want to be able to just press play and then have that object generate or spawn, instantiate a load of stairs. So basically we want the this object to kind of copy itself and then tr like translate uh, the new object forwards and up and then do that in a loop for how many steps you ask for. So let's get creating a script. So I'll do it in C sharp. How are we doing for time? Not too bad. Uh, grow steps, we'll call it. Okay, so first thing, thing we want is um, an integer. We want a variable for how many steps the user kind of wants. So now we're waiting on mono develop to open up. Take a little drink here. I'm also against the pizza clock. We've um, we've ordered pizza, so as soon as that's uh, kind of ready, there we go. I'll just make my, my script a little bit bigger. Okay, so uh, we won't need update. We'll just generate the step straight away in in start. So that function is where that the script will start. Um, so I needed a public int. Um, number of steps. There we go. And default, we'll set it to nine stairs to begin with, nine steps, because that's my favorite number. Um, so in start, we want to do something like, um, we want to say a new game object, uh, new step equals and then we're going to use the Unity function. Is it uh, belonging to the game object class? Game object create primitive 
dot just go down another line so you can see the the code create primitive oh sorry that's a function and then you tell unity which primitive type you want there we go primitive type and cube essentially we want a cube there we go so all that code is doing um, game object create primitive is basically going to game object um, menu up at the top going to 3d object and then choosing one of the primitives um, what I've just done in the code is is how to do that oh I've just loaded brackets for random for out of habit <laughs> I've now closed down brackets okay we've got 10 minutes just over 10 minutes on the clock left um, I don't want brackets I want mono develop so I've created a new game object um, a new cube and that's going to be at zero 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 at the moment and we want it to be at the location that this the thing that the script is attached to that like seed step we want it to to match that transform so what we want to say is new step equals so remember I've just created this game object uh, variable new step so that's where I'm storing the new object that's created new step um, transform um, position equals and we just want to say this dot transform um, sorry about the lag it's because I'm recording the screen I think transform dot position there we go so we've we've got we've got this we've we've kind of clones of position now what do we want to do we want to translate the step forward by the kind of the length of the the length of our like seed object itself so essentially let me just duplicate this so essentially we want to create a new block like this slide it forward on the z-axis and then slide it up like that and then we'll loop over so at the moment um, we've done this we've generated a new object hopefully and it, it's matching the position of the seed block and then we want to slide forward the the Z scale so that number dynamically to whatever object you create so later on if we do something like this we might make it a bit more step shaped probably 0.3 something like that we want this object to kind of match its scale so let's do that now Back to mono develop time is running down okay so new step transform um, now I won't be able to just ask for scale um, I believe we can only you can only change the local scale the lossy scale or global scale is immutable you can only refer to it there we go local scale equals again this dot transform um, and we'll say lossy scale here there we go okay so it, now the new object has matched the, the dimensions of the, the seed object so now we want to slide it forward so we do that with uh, translate you say transform translate and we want to go forwards so just vector 3 dot forward excellent times um, so the seed objects scale in the Z position so uh, this dot transform you know what I'll have another line so everything's nice and neat this dot transform uh, local scale is it oh I can refer to the global scale now I'm not manipulating that and Z brilliant so we've slid it forward so I almost want to exactly change that um, to just slide it up on the Y scale okay over five minutes this is almost the last step uh, translate so not on the Z axis we now want to slide the step up there we go let's just check and see if this is working Okay, I've just asked my developer to save that script. We haven't attached the script yet. Can I just drag that on to our object there? Let's just have a look. No. 
let's drag it on my oh no I was selecting the wrong object oh yes there it is so a variable is showing up so it's meaning there's no bugs in our script so let's just delete that example block and we'll place our stairs on the floor and let's just run okay brilliant I don't know if you can see that but we've got two stairs and we only had two steps and we only had one so it's generating that one step okay at the moment that that n number nine doesn't do anything it'd be really cool as well just to maybe place it in front of the camera here I think let's just see again so that if we generate more we can we've got a good view of them yes so if it kind of works we'll be able to see it now okay just over five minutes um, doing well I think <laughs> so we basically just need to put these steps inside of a loop so oh and then we've just got to adjust how each new step is being translated okay so for int uh, i equals zero so start at zero be better to start at one oh, I don't know. So, um, i is less than number of steps so we'll go around the loop that number of steps i plus plus we just want to increment by one each time and then close our brackets down here lovely so we just want to translate so each step by i really I think that's about right it'll depend on what number I'm starting on and things maybe we won't be too exact we won't count the steps <laughs> I'll have a look brilliant right uh, I'm gonna count the steps one two three four five six seven eight nine so it has only generated the eight steps so I think there'll be two steps in one place but we've done it we've got about four minutes left and that's how to generate steps um, using code. Um, it would be really nice to to now um, see if we can rotate them. So I'm gonna I'm gonna count this as as done. So let's actually this will be satisfying. Pause. Pause. We've done it. <laughs> I'm tempted to kind of stop the video here and not mess around, but it would be nice to kind of rotate them. So let's have a look. So that's position, that's scale. So here, before we translate, we could new step, rotate, oh, sorry, transform, rotate, and then we want to rotate around the y axis. So that's stored as up times. We want to say something like i times a rotation amount. We'll try 10 for now. OK. Let's just save that. What would be good is having a Boolean to um, set whether you want your stairs straight. So that might be false. So you might have us ah, a spiral kind of spiral kind of um, uh, boolean there we go oh I'm really pleased with that so we've got a spiral staircase working and we can generate as many steps as we as we like let's go for 99 that'll be really nice so there we go ah <laughs> so we've got a problem there so we'd have to be a bit more sophisticated in terms of how we we actually rotate things we want to be translating them in a bit more of a sophisticated way. Okay, so we've got the gist there. Um, I hope that was useful, how to create instantiate objects. Um, I think I'm allowed to class this as a pass. <laughs> there we go. Successful uh, speed code challenge. Thank you very much.